Hello and welcome to Base Plate Reviews. So I've got the Downtown Noodle Shop, the Creator 3 in 1 set, sat in front of me, and it's a really nice set and you know it goes well in the Chinatown section of the city. Of course, it is flawed from the perspective of it is open, it can close up, of course, because it's on that hinge. But if you're gonna put this down onto plates in a city, you're not gonna be able to open that up anyway. So I think we need to look at modularizing it. It's already sat on a plate, which, well, a couple of plates. They're actually wider than a 16 plate, but I think that we can get that changed up pretty easily. And that's what I'm gonna look at doing today. Now, in terms of the color scheme, definitely wanna keep that kind of salmon pink for the top, but for the bottom part, I think I'm gonna actually switch that up for sand green just because I've got tons of those parts you can see I've also got lots of the salmon pink brick for the upper bit so I don't think this is going to be just a absolutely straightforward modularization I think we're going to change it up a bit definitely keep something like the sign there the brick built sign which is really nice and of course we want to keep that definitely the noodle bar element there but maybe make that a bit wider but yeah, I've, uh, I'm going to get to work on it. I don't think I'll film it just because I do work very iteratively. So, you know, it will be a lot of trial and error. But it should be back to you once we've got a finished product or at least half finished. Maybe I'll do the first level and then we can take a look. There we have it then. Uh, the downtown noodle shop modularized and on a 16 by 16 plate. And I think maintain some of the crucial bits of the original but also loses a few, adds some. And yeah, we've got three levels here, just like the original. So the downstairs part is the noodle bar and we've got the kitchen in there. That is all tiled off as it should be. It's a food establishment. We've still got the stairs leading up at the back to the apartment and that is still an apartment, still using pretty much most of the same parts as originally there. And then on the roof, we've changed that up a bit because we've added this small temple just here. We've got the kind of dragon heads as a bit of decoration there as well. And really simple stuff. These are just a couple of door frames, red door frames. And then the back part is actually one of those kind of uh, construction elements. So I think it looks pretty effective, certainly from... The front, I think it looks pretty perfect for something which is so few pieces. I actually got these pieces for the roof out of, there was a Lunar New Year VIP add-on set, which was a giveaway, uh, I think, in 2023, around Lunar New Year time. I don't think it was this year. But yeah, like I say, the set still re retains some of the key elements, so still got that noodle bar there we've still got the sign the awning here it's still in that dark green and bright green color although we have switched this out for some thicker slopes these were all one by slopes previously but yeah it I think it's obviously different we've switched out all of the olive green for the bottom section for this sand green and that was for two reasons one I just wanted to see what it would look like but also I have got quite a lot of that sand green so it makes sense for me to use some of it still maintained that brick belt sign we switched it round to the other side of the noodle shop previously this was sitting just where this window was and yeah it's like I say it is modular we can take all of the sections apart so what I'll do is I'll just set the camera to the side so I've got two hands and I'll show you each of the sections like I say, this can all come apart, so take off the top two sections here and we should get a better look inside the interior of the noodle shop. So here we've got the seating just at the front. We've got some minifigs in the way there. But we can see all I've done is I've extended the bar along. It's actually only one stud wide just here for six studs and that's because we've got this section here which is to help 
the second section actually sit there but I think it's in the same colour and I think it is something that you could expect to see. Importantly here we have tiled off all of the interior so you know it's a food establishment obviously we, will, we want it to be fairly clean so I've actually kept that to be white tiles all the way through. A fair few of them have studs on there. If I take this out of the way you should be able to see a bit better. And we've still got the section at the back just here where we've got a brush and a wrench or a spanner and stuff like that. I've added a, an extra bowl here and another condiments bottle but otherwise still fairly similar to how it was before. Still got the kind of decoration to the side there and we've like I say the whole idea of this was trying to keep it in keeping with how it originally was it wasn't about trying to change it up massively it was just trying to make it so it's appropriate for the city the other bit that I've added you might be able to see there is just a little tile to the side here which is a if I can pick it up which is just one of these, it looks like a calculator, but I've done it, so it's effectively, they're setting the alarm before they head out. We'll see it's a commercial establishment, so we're gonna assume they've got an alarm, although I haven't built one onto the side of the uh, the set. But yeah, we've still got the kitchen just at the back there, or the stove and a sink. Just switch things around uh, in terms of exactly where they're situated, but broadly speaking, like I say, try to keep it fairly similar. Still got those steps leading up at the back, they're now right at the side here, and we've switched the vending machine around to the back there. Tiled this off again just because I've built this on a dark green kind of a base plate, bright green, bright green, dark green, one of the two, but I can easily move that. As, uh, as needs be once it's placed in the city. For the second section, this obviously won't sit flat unless I remove these lanterns that we've got just there, but not a problem. We've got the awning just here, and this was different previously, so I think that the instead of it going all the way along, obviously it was narrower, and some of these blue slopes actually sat up on top of the other so it built up in kind of an angular way also the awning here like I said was one by so one by bright green and dark green all the way along not as long as this we've switched that up by for two by I had those pieces and actually it made sense to retain the same color scheme still got that brick built sign on the side it's just been switched around exactly where it sits and we've got a window at the back the door obviously and then the window at the side retaining the same style as before we've just switched out for a single window instead of those uh, double windows just there in terms of the interior not too much has changed we've still got the chair the lamp we've got the uh, potted plant there we've still got picture in there and again more plants the radio what we have changed though is actually the design of the rug. Before that was just four of these uh, angled uh, tiles and it was in light green and dark green, basically the same colours as uh, this. I've just switched that up for some different kind of uh, whites and purples and greys, uh, just so it's a bit different. I had the tiles for it anyway. But yeah, pretty simple update to that. Still got the nice armchair there. I haven't tiled this off we've just got the rug and I think that's okay I, you know broadly speaking you're not going to see the interior of this a lot anyway but I actually think that that works fine as kind of a grey carpet the final section we've got then is the roof and again try to keep this pretty much as it was before except with the addition of this shrine element so that meant that in terms of the decoration around the top kept those deep red, dark red uh, slope elements and some of the kind of uh, profiling of the uh, white cornicing around the top there. Got the dark red there again 
that's above the window on the second level. We don't have this uh, design for the back window though and I think that's fine because this is towards the rear of the property. One thing that we did lose, although we've gained the shrine, is we used to have a kind of a door that came out onto the roof which was this and you can see double doors opened up and there was a ladder that went down through so we have lost that access to the roof but I think we can use our imaginations and in terms of the visual appeal of this in terms of it being in the Chinatown section of the city I think that works absolutely fine still maintained that light which uh, goes above the brick belt noodle sign so that we can keep the building lit up it is a commercial uh, property of course and I think that yeah overall looks just great we've got I've kept the cook bar from the creator 3 in one set not a big fan of brick belt animals but in this instance I think it still shows that it's that creator 3 in one set and we didn't want to completely lose that altogether I did want to do a bit of a size comparison on this one and for that reason I've placed it onto a base plate plus some bricks so that it's up at Mel's height because that's how we've got the city built. And the first thing we'll compare it to is actually one of the modular buildings. It's a, well half of one of the modular buildings because it's the bookshop which can be split into two. And of course, you know, when we look at it in comparison to that, you know, these are pretty expensive, pretty full on buildings, the modulars, and of course, you know, quite a bit taller, and also once we compare it side on in terms of the uh, thickness of it well it absolutely dwarfs it but these are considerably more expensive sets even though they're exceptionally good value the modulars in terms of what you get I don't think it matches up terribly certainly if they were in a city you'd just go well there's one bigger building and a smaller building there but I've also done my own kind of modulars previously so I've modularized this one which was the Lego store quite a lot of extra pieces a lot of extra white brick and once we compare it to that I think that seems definitely a bit more comparable obviously the Lego store is bigger I needed it to be bigger in terms of just showing off all of the sets and the walls in there we've got a pick a brick wall in there and things like that whereas this is a noodle bar so of course it's not going to have big high ceilings at that part and I think that overall yeah it compares pretty favorably obviously some of the height of this comes from that shrine up on top of the building whereas we've only got really a kind of aerial and stuff up on top of that one again in terms of from a side on perspective that's definitely pretty substantial in comparison to the noodle shop but you know this is just a a box it's pretty much 16 by 16 the whole way round whereas this has got a bit more kind of interest obviously it's not completely boxed off shape we've got that cutaway there where we've got the stairs leading up so the floors a bit different shape just there and the other notable thing about this is because we have got the kind of overlaps here with the kind of uh, awnings above the above the shop above the windows we can actually put this flat up against another building so we have got a bit of a gap just there of course this is fine we've got plenty of choices about where we place this in the city and if I don't destroy it too much, I promise these do attach pretty easily, then we should be able to get this placed in the city and I don't think it's going to look out of place at all. Here it is placed within the Chinatown section of the city then. And in terms of what we wanted to achieve when we set out to make this mock, one of those things was actually just that it couldn't be too expensive. I didn't want to go and buy another one of the downtown noodle shops and put two of these sets together. I've seen other people do that and you know more power to them that's very good but in terms of the extra pieces that we've used well obviously we've swapped out the olive green for the sand green and there's more of that 
of course bulked up the pink second level but then a lot of the other parts the decoration etc came from one of those VIP add-on packs so things like the gold dragon heads there the uh, lanterns all of those pieces I would have had the pieces anyway but they came from the VIP add-on pack and then really other than that tiling off the inside of the ground floor level with uh, white tiles down there and then the second thing that we wanted to achieve was actually making sure that this could fit within the Chinatown section of the city and not look out of place and I think that that's definitely achieved here obviously the shrine on the roof uh, might be a bit conspicuous if it was sat there in the rest of the city but here I think yeah fits in just right so pretty pleased with that I think it's a successful conversion of what was already a pretty nice set in terms of other mocks that I've seen I've seen some people use one of these the downtown noodle shop plus a family reunion celebration so the Chinese New Year set from 2024 and they've kind of put those two together and formed their own kind of mini Chinatown section I think that's great uh, but this is you know hopefully you can see a fairly cheap simple way to do it just using the one set and hopefully you've enjoyed that if you have please leave a like and if you're not subscribed already consider leaving a subscription it's really appreciated and I will be trying to do a few more kind of mocks and things like that coming up but I think that's time to leave you so as ever be good <laughs> <laughs>